Mom drives home from work around 4 p.m. on a major road in her hometown and stops at a red light. While passing the time, she scans the immediate area, finding a large black truck sitting next to her. In the bed of the truck is a golden retriever, panting happily and alert. She cannot help but smiling. The light turns green and the car shuffles as everyone accelerates. At the next red light at the park, across the street, two boys, one teenager and one just coming out of single digits, throw a tennis ball. A tall and fit American Bulldog eagerly chasing after it and bringing it back loyally. In the United States alone, 60% of households own a pet. The by far the most popular pet is a dog and the cat is in second. And then there's all those other ones. Pets are amazing to have and they help us in so many different ways. Pets give you something to be responsible for, reduce stress in days when you're feeling down, and they can keep you out of danger. Pets require attention and dedication, but those are small prices to pay for the amount of physical and mental benefits they bring to you. If you are debating on getting one, then the following reasons you should get have a pet will likely have you hanging out and searching for your next furry or not so furry addition to your home. Every family with children should have at least one pet in their house. This pet could be a house animal like a cat or a dog, or it could be a farm animal like a horse or a cow. I believe this because I have been growing up, I have always had a sort of pet, mainly a dog. Having a pet has taught me lots of things, but the main things will be responsibility and I take care of someone else beside myself. No matter what type of pet you get, it will require you to, keep you to take care of it. Being responsible for another living thing can help you be more responsible in the rest of your life too. This is especially true for kids who are learning the, res learning the value of routine and good habits. However, adults can benefit from the consistent responsibility as well. I have learned responsibility because every day I have to feed my dog, let her outside to go to the bathroom, and take her for walks and play with her. It, it takes a lot of work, but it has taught me not to put myself first. Knowing all this will help me later in life because I'll be able to take care of my kids and not put myself first. The thing I love the most about having a pet would be they are always there and like to play or come hang out with you. Whenever I come home, there she is waiting for me, which is always a good feeling. They are good listeners and they never talk back to me. Having a pet, especially if they're if you were an only child, it would be good because then you wouldn't be as lonely and they could cheer you up. Everyone has some days when they're feeling down in the dumps. It has been very apparent that stress affects our mental and physical health and our world has been become more stressful than ever. We live in a fast-paced world that demands our attention and can easily wear us out. There are certain methods to reduce stress, but one of the best is to own a pet. In one study, patients who spent a short amount of time with the dog before upcoming treatment operation experienced a 37% reduction in their anxiety levels. Pets provide support like a best friend because they are always there to listen without judgment, which can help you unload after a hectic day. Whether you prefer a companion as a dog or a cat, talking out issues with them can help you see the situation differently. Moreover, when you are feeling stressed, there is nothing like a sweet pair of eyes that instantly attract your focus and help you get your mind off the thoughts and emotions that are causing you stress. Pets need to be handled, fed, and loved so you don't have time to sit and stew in a negative place. You have better things to do. We all know that dogs bark when they sense someone near the house, and that can be very good for home security. However, pets can sense far more than just a stranger. As stated on CNN, some examples are a parrot in Florida squawked and flapped so loudly that the family woke up before fire detectors went off and they escaped the fire. A dog in New Jersey with a spinal condition pulled himself up the stairs and alerted his, family, his sleeping family about a fire. You can find tons of heartwarming stories like these all over. No matter what kind of pet you get, animals seem to have a sense of danger that we don't always have, and a pet just may save your life. Everyone should have a pet of their own. There are so many benefits. Pets give you something you're responsible for, they can help with stress, provide constant and loving companionship, provide entertainment, and can keep you out of danger. So everyone, please, go out and get a pet of your own. Whether a dog or something as small as a fish, every pet is a pet to keep.